Hello guys, today I am going to tell you about Cisco Miraki licensing. You know, Cisco Miraki solution is a cloud based solution, uh, a cloud platform for uh, Cisco systems. They have uh, many product lines like as uh, MR for access point, MB for security camera, MS for switch, MS for se MX for security appliance. Um, they are totally fully managed um, for the cloud. And every device uh, required license to use in uh, in your device on cloud account. Um, so it is very important to know how to um, how to work Cisco Miraki licensing or what type of licensing is Cisco Miraki offering. Uh, now I am under Cisco Miraki licensing uh, web page. Uh, you can see the. Um, Cisco Miraki offers two types of license model. One is uh, per device licensing, and other is uh, co-termination licensing model, uh, which uh, also means uh, co-term. And you also see that the co-term co licensing model is by default uh, for uh, Cisco Miraki cloud account. Uh, uh, that means uh, when you are uh, creating your cloud account, and by default is co-term licensing is applying or active running. Uh, so let's see uh, what is per device licensing and uh, per device licensing is uh, many types or many uh, subdivided licensing device individually first is licensing divide individually uh, which is dependent on the specific device types like as mr mx M, uh, ms um, uh, that means uh, you can uh, you can buy your license uh, as per your device types partial renewal that means uh, suppose you have uh, 10 miraki devices on your network and you want to renew uh, only two or three devices license you can uh, use this type this types of licensing model uh, move license between organizations uh, that means uh, you can uh, uh, move your license multiple organizations um, or uh, you uh, you can uh, move those or between those uh, license uh, without calling your Miraki support. That means uh, if you have multiple organizations and you want to transfer your license to your um, another organizations, uh, you can. Uh, there are another another term of co license, co term licensing, uh, which is. Uh, mainly based on your organization type or based on your on how many devices you are using your organization quotum licensing is applied on organization wide basis resulting a single expiration date for every cisco miraki device or operation that means uh, if you have organized if your organization in this uh, uh, 20 devices and um, and you are buying license uh, your FT devices uh, license activation date and acti activation expiring date is same for all of your all of your Miraki devices. Uh, on part device licensing, um, there are different uh, expired time on your different devices. But uh, when you are in quotum licensing, uh, your uh, uh, whole devices license and expiration date is one, and uh, and it is fixed. And, and this date is dynamically calculated or weighted average your license type this means uh, uh, it's, uh, uh, if your device is increasing then your license time will be increased that means uh, if your device uh, device quantity is high then your license expiration time will be increasing it's depend uh, totally on your uh, how many device on you are using on your organizations uh, so uh, this is the this is the total uh, this is the main 2d uh, license type on cisco miraki thanks for everybody please hit the subscribe button